Hey Virgo, what's going on? Welcome to Soul Vibin' back with another tarot card reading here for you. I am so excited to get into this tarot card reading. This is going to be your love reading for the next, um, I don't know, I would say a couple weeks. But let's go ahead and see what's going on with you and your special person of interest. We're going to see what's coming up around you guys and how your relationship is going, what's happening in your relationship, what's happening in the present moment, and what's to happen in the future. So we're going to be pulling out three of these cards Maybe more. It just depends what spirit uh, wants me to tell you. And we're also going to be looking into tarot to see their secret feelings. Things that they're not telling you. Secret messages as well with my little letters of love which look like this. They are super cute little letters with a special message inside of them. Um, and I will also be pulling out your sparks of passion which are so exciting. Okay, so stay through to the end for these. And I will also be giving you your sparks of balance. All right. So let's go straight into it. Oh, and of course, if not forget, I will be pulling out your person's shadow aspects as well, okay? So in case you're interested in knowing this person's shadow side, I don't know if that's beneficial for, for any of us, right? <laughs> I don't know if it adds more, if it's adds more, how do you say it? I don't know what I'm saying anymore, Virgo. Let's go ahead and get started. Virgo, special person, and Virgo, what are they going through? What's going on? What happened in the past, present, and future. So here's a lot of romantic feelings that you guys both have for each other. I do feel like both, both of you are feeling each other out. I do feel like the connection was going really well. Let's go ahead and see what's happening, what's happening now in the current moment. I do feel like this person was pretty honest about their emotions with you too. And I do feel like they are um, like a, uh, either this is you or them. Coming through as a hopeless romantic kind of energy, like just really sweet or like really empathic, really caring, compassionate. Um, I'm getting the type of vibe from your person though. But this could be you as well. But I just feel like they they were really open with the way they express themselves to you. And this may have um, made you fall in love, I guess is what I'm getting. So let's see what's going on right now. Let go of control issues. Okay. So it does feel like you guys had a divine intervention. See the angels right there, kind of standing behind the female in this case, okay? You may have kids with this person, or you may just be a single mother. But I do feel like you're being guided into the right direction, okay? So whatever's going on in the connection in between you and this person, um, it's where it's supposed to be for a reason. I do feel like the male in this connection um, could want control over the situation in between you and him. Okay, and I do feel like you're guarded against this. It's almost like you know that this isn't right. So let's see. Express your love. Okay, so this is beautiful. Something else I'm getting to, it's like the universe is telling you, be patient with the connection, okay? They will be back, especially if you guys are in separation or if things are just out of control or if things are not going the way you would like them to in between you and this person. The message I'm getting here is that things are going to be um, said and done at the perfect timing, okay? So someone, and I feel like it'll be both of you guys, when you guys are ready to come back into union and your higher self knows best, you will be coming back into union and give me just one second. Okay, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get into this, all right? This is going to get really good. I can already tell because this is like one of those readings where, you know, I do feel like both of you guys are impatient. They come back together. Can I get one more? What's to happen in between Virgo and their person? I really feel like this one. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. So, whether you've met someone new or you have the same person that you're waiting for and you guys are going to come back into union, I do feel like your angels are telling you, like, stay optimistic about what's happening in your love life and go ahead and, like, open up yourself to love and to new love even. You know, that's a, that's the vibe I'm getting. That could just be a special message for some of you because I do get, there's a lot of energies here. So you're going to put your, um, you're going to take what resonates from this reading, right? You're going to take what you know is for you. And anything that doesn't fit in your scenario or in your story, then you just don't take it. And if nothing fits, then that's just not your reading, guys. So Virgo, let's go ahead and get into this. Love yourself first. So this is something that Spirit is trying to teach you. This is one of the hardest lessons, okay? Loving yourself first, putting yourself first. Um, you may be seeing yourself in this other person, and that is what makes you fall for this person. Like you, you may be wanting to provide for the other person, or you may be wanting to give all your love to someone. 
I do feel like you want to find that one. You want to find that one person who's going to treat you right. But Spirit is saying, like, we really want you to just focus on loving yourself first before you come into union with anybody. But we also want you to stay optimistic. So, so Spirit will be sending you... It feels like a distraction, you guys. Whether you want this or not, you don't have to take it. But it feels like um, Spirit has your back. It really feels like... Um, they, they want to see you happy. They want to see you um, optimistic. Like they want to see you thinking, thinking the right thoughts, if that makes sense. So here you are popping out very strongly, okay? Very strongly. So they, they feel very strong about you. I guess that's what that's what this is telling me. Like this person feels very strong about you. They see you. They see your full potential. They see how beautiful you are to how um, independent you are. You may be very independent. You may also like to keep on yourself and you may like to work very hard. Number nines are all about work. They're all about um, staying on track. But number nines also learn the hard way. So they may see this about you too. Like they may see you going through hard times and they don't like this. They don't like seeing you going through a hard time and they do want to come in and, you know, come back into your number. Let's go ahead and see what this person is feeling about you at this moment in time. Wow, you guys, I already know what that card is. I already know what that card is. This is so beautiful. My gosh, Virgo. So here we are, the Empress. I told you, this person sees you in your full power. They see your full potential. They see you are wifey material. And they see that you are also worth everything and more. So this person doesn't want to give you anything less than what you're worth. This person is in it for the long haul. This person does love you. And they see, they see marriage with you. They see proposal as well. So I feel like there's a proposal coming up ahead. This can be in the near future. Uh, I don't know, but I do feel like you guys, you know, okay? With the hermit here, this is spiritual. This is a spiritual connection. You know, you feel it. You feel it on a different level. We have the number nine and three. These are very significant numbers, guys. So let me get one more card on what they feel about Virgo at this moment in time. I really love, I love this, and I love your energy. Look at this. They see you as a go-getter okay they they see you as a goal setter they see you as very independent they see that you you and them like can build an empire they see you as the queen of their empire they may be very hard working as well okay but they see you as such they see you as this beautiful soul like i feel like this is what they see you guys wow virgo their secret feelings like they're out on the table they really are the hermit they see your soul, like they see into your soul. They may have told you this already. <laughs> like they see how beautiful you are from the inside out. And that's because you are really beautiful from the inside out. You have a beautiful spirit. You're really good hearted and you're a good hearted person. And I do feel, and I just got a ding from spirit because my headphones supposedly just connected and I wasn't even aware that they weren't connected. And I use my, I use my AirPods guys for my microphone but um here with the hermit and the empress this person sees into your soul this is so beautiful like they see your true potential they see who you truly are i do feel like they've told you something like this before i'm telling you this person seems very um empathic they feel very romantic and they see you as a queen, most definitely. Like you are coming through full power in this reading. Full power without denial. They see you are the one for them. This is a this is like I would like I would like to end this reading here. But we have much more to pull out because I'm excited on on what this is about. Something they love about you, Virgo. Um, this is a really different reading. It's a really loving, really romantic type of energy. I'm telling you, it feels sacred. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. So you may be, you may have a lot of value to you, whether this is spiritual value, knowledge, or whether this is um, 
physical money, right? Like you're very rich, you're very abundant. Um, doesn't matter. I feel like it can be both for some of you where you're very abundant, you're rich, or you have a lot of money, or you're just spiritually rich. You're filled with wisdom, knowledge, and above all, love. Like your heart, your true inner beauty, guys. I cannot, I cannot express this enough. But this person, if you're not in, if you're not in union with this person, or things haven't worked out the way they should, you need to stand in your power as an empress and just let things play out as the universe wants them to. Let things work out the way the universe um, wants your story to be played out. Um, I do see like a happily ever after. I'm telling you, this is a way different reading. This is almost like a a story, like a like a Disney story. It's so weird. Maybe you like Disney Disney movies, but I'm seeing like a story played out here. And maybe you guys have history, because the hermit here could mean a lot of years. Okay, maybe you and this person aren't separated. Maybe you just have a lot of years together. That's some another scenario I'm seeing. But with the Queen of Pentacles, this is all about you being caring too, like really giving, really open. You wear your heart on your sleeve too, and you're not afraid of doing that. They also love how you're kind of like a, you're alpha female. You're an alpha female. So you may attract a lot of haters. You may attract a lot of, bad energy too and this is why you like to keep to yourself or you keep your circle really small and this is why you also like to keep your stuff really like private i do see this like you know what to tell people and you know what not to tell people and you definitely pick up on energy you guys this is what i'm getting it's like you pick up on energy really quick from other people that's just a little bonus for you so you know that, especially if this reading is resonating with you and you know this reading is for you. Your card popped out the other day, I think. Like, I was going to do your reading the other day. So here we get the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Letting things play out, divine timing. But we do get an ending, a cycle ending, okay? And I feel like you're winning in this cycle. I feel like things are turning in your favor in this cycle. Whether this is the, the cycle ending on a good note or a bad note, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that things are about to start, start turning for you in a much better and unexpected, more lucky, more abundant way if it is that you haven't been feeling that way. Yes, this person may be a fire sign that you're dealing with. They, they don't have to be, though. Um, they could be just darker in skin color. And the Knight of Cups. So this person will be coming back around um, with a romantic gesture. So they're going to be giving you something. Like it could be a ring, right? It can be a proposal. But it can just simply be a date. Or like telling you something that's going to make you feel really good. It's going to make you feel like you are worth everything. Now be aware. You don't need this person to feel this way. I see that clearly. You really don't need this person to feel abundance. And to, to feel like a queen. Like an empress. An empress is somebody who's learned all her lessons and who's very much protected. See this cross here? So, yeah. I can I can go into very deep description of what this means. But I'm just going to go ahead and skip right now. Very beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what this person wants to tell you at this moment in time. What does Virgo's person want to say to Virgo? What are they not telling Virgo? What do they really think about Virgo? So here we get. Aw. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. That could be why they pulled, it, pulled away if it is that they did. A lot of chemistry, a lot of energy, right? A lot of energy, a lot of... Um, it's a spiritual connection, guys. So to this person, if they're not spiritual at all, it's just coming through as really like a lot of energy in between you two. 
This may also be you, okay? Especially if you're cross-watching. Same old situation. So something happened that may have happened before. Take that how it resonates. Let's get another one here. We've got a lot. So we get on the way. So yeah, this person is on the way. They're coming. They're, they're brushing in with the Knight of Wands. So they're coming in hot, you guys. They may be looking at your like social media or maybe you sent them a picture or maybe you said something or I, as the empress i don't feel like you're the one that reached out to them but if it is that you did then i i feel like they're rushing in but they may just be feeling better about a situation in their life like something must have ended in their life or completed that they're feeling way better about so they're rushing in you guys or they want to rush in but they also want to take they like slow themselves down money bag so yeah maybe maybe this person is doing a lot better financially or this can also be you since we get the pink energy right this can also be you but with money bag and the wheel of fortune there's some some type of windfall that this person received or that you will be receiving okay in the month of november or december or maybe even into next year because i, I do see Beyond the love reading, I, I feel like your money reading is going to be really nice. Sage, clairvoyant, psychic. So this is a sign for some of you if you've been um, interested in being in the occult or being in, you know, uh, or in, sorry, in developing your psychic abilities and stuff like that. This is a sign from the universe, especially if you've been feeling like you've been psychic or something like that. Okay. Mac Miller and Ariana, so this is like you guys are perfect for each other, right? I'm pretty sure Ariana always regretted that, you know, she broke up with Mac Miller or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's the type of, that's like the energy I got from this reading too. Maybe this person like regrets leaving you. Yeah, see, even though we're apart, I feel you close to me. So this person, um, always, there's this strong spiritual connection between you and this person. They see you as their other half. They know they can't live without you, so they will be coming back around, okay? So these are their secret feelings. Really romantic type of energy. I'm feeling their vibes. I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel about this reading, but let's go ahead and uh, pull out the shadow aspect, okay? Because even though this seems like Prince Charming, let's look at their dark side. <laughs> Why does that sound so evil? Let's go ahead and see their dark side, please. This is no Prince Charming. The Empress knows this. Let's see. Calling the storm. What does this card mean? Let's put that right there. Well, we get number 30. So they may be 30 years old. Okay, that could be a sign for somebody. But with calling the storm, I feel like they can have... Um, I guess I don't see a bad side to this person. This is so weird. Um, I see more like a... If they have to, they will, like, stand up to bullshit, you know? But it's almost like if they have to. If they don't have to, like, tap into that energy, then they won't. Let's see. To me, they sound, they honestly sound like a water sign. They sound, like, really calm. And they give me water energy, like, but it can be any sign. Fated to suffer. Oh my god. What did we just talk about? We, I just said this is like a princess fairy tale. This is like a Disney story. That's fucking Snow White right there. Look at that. Look at that. I was gonna say I was gonna say something else. But with fated to suffer here. Um I don't know, either one of you feel like you guys have just had a lot of bad luck when it comes to love. And but they're willing to risk it though. That's the cool part. That's what I'm getting. This is like a warrior. So your person's like a warrior, I feel like. Like they're ready, they're prepared. This is giving me like the nine of wands energy for some reason. It's like they're prepared for the worst. Okay, they're prepared to risk it all with you. Like see how she's about to take that bite of that apple? It's like they're prepared for that. They're prepared for things to fail with you, but they also are willing to risk it because they feel like they're not going to fail. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. So, beautiful.
Let's go ahead and pull out your sparks of passion. So go ahead and end your reading. Well, I still have your sparks of balance too. So how do I feel about them? What do they want to do with Virgo? Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look to you. Beautiful. So I'll start with this one that didn't want to pop out, but it kind of did. Schedule a repeating date for intimacy. So this is about, I, I feel like that has to do with the Ten of Pentacles. Like they want to make that romantic gesture. Does that make sense? You get that a lot of times. The Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and Express Your Love. Let me put these right over here. Try using a blindfold. Okay, so I'm getting that, like, when they get with you next, they're the type of person, right? They're really romantic. They're going to like to surprise you. So they might want to blindfold you to, like, give you something. They might say, okay, close your eyes or something like that. Surprise each other with seductive outfits. Okay, maybe this is what you want to do, Divine Feminine. Let's see. Oh, and look at me. I said Divine Feminine. Oh, shit. This isn't even a Divine Feminine reading, but there you are in your full power, right? You wait for this person. Don't lower your standards, that's for sure. Send your partner a seductive, suggestive selfie or text. Make a habit of kissing every time you see each other. And I'm telling you, I feel like this person is going to be that type. But I feel like they're just going to want to kiss you all the time. They're going to want to be with you. They're going to want to be just like... I don't know, I'm getting cuddly vibes, but also very, like, they're going to want to make love to you, you guys. This is no joke. Like, this isn't going to be just sexual. It feels really intimate. Like I said, it's, it feels sacred. Only you're going to know. You're like, you're going to follow your intuition with this. If you're Divine Feminine, you you should already be intuitive. You should already know like that. You have a lot, a lot of wisdom within you. So, share the story of your first time with each other. There may be something you guys are talking about, like when you guys meet up again, because you guys miss each other so much. And then tuck a sexy aisle, you and your partner's pocket or bag. So this may be something you do or that they do to you, but I'm getting them. It's like they may like, like sneak something in your purse or like try to like be sneaky to surprise you or like something like that. Like I feel like they will go out of their way to please you. So this is all I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. Um, before you go, let's go ahead and pull out the sparks of balance. If you're still here, then obviously these are for you. So give me very specific messages for whoever is left. Let's 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 get it on. Let's see what's up. So here we get enjoy a special meal alone without any distractions. So it may be that time to just um, have some time to yourself, right? Let's see what else. Read something that uplifts you, that makes you feel better. This can even be listening to music that's uplifting. I really hope my, my message here today from Spirit uplifted you. Try a new type of meditation. And let me know down below if it did help you or if you did like this reading, please. And remember to share and subscribe if you haven't done so. Spend some time alone and unplugged from devices. So there's something about you spending time by yourself and taking a look at how beautiful you are within and how much um, you have to do for yourself. For some of you, you may be signing a contract or receiving some type of, this feels like a contract, or you could just be purchasing something with the Empress card here, something big. A research a new meditation or healing practice for something you struggle with, okay? So if you struggle with anxiety, then research, okay, um, meditation for anxiety on YouTube, okay? So that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Virgo. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.